Guys, this smells like an even better of By the Fireplace from the house of Mason Margiela. It's even better. It's even better. Listen, man, my boy Kevin Samuels, man, rest in peace, said in a video when he talked about this scent is that this one should come with birth control. <laughs> Need I say more? All right, quick service announcement before we get started. This video is not for lames, all right? It's not for lames. What are lames? Lames are people that get all up in arms about video titles. Lames are people that reveal themselves to you. They will reveal themselves to you, gentlemen, trust me. Because they'll see a, a video title like this and they'll say, fragrances don't do nothing for you. Yeah, you're right. They don't do anything for you because you're lame, all right? Real ones know that fragrances only start conversations, all right? Real ones know that fragrances alone by themselves are not going to get anybody's panties, are not going to get any woman in the bed. It's not going to make any woman instantaneously fall in love with you. But real ones know this. But we also know that fragrances will get women's attention. Fragrances will get compliments. And fragrances will start the conversation. Uh, now, if you got some game, if you got some swag after that, you can make it happen. So, this video is not for lames. It's for the dudes out there in the world that got some swag. <sighs> now that we've addressed that crap, <laughs> let's get it. What's good, YouTube? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we focus on fashion, fragrance, as well as lifestyle. So if those things sound interesting to you, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man, and make sure you go ahead and click the bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content, you'll get notified. So, guys, you see it, man. You see the title, man. 99% of women are aroused or attracted by the fragrances that I want to talk about today. Now, and I'm not just not spitting information at you. I'm just not spitting my opinion. We do it the right way over here. It's backed by scientific facts. That's right, scientific fact. Women are aroused by pheromones, all right? And there are two primary notes over the course of history that have been known to be used in perfumery as a pheromone. That's right, two primary notes that I'm gonna talk about today and the fragrances on this list today contain one or both of those notes. And I'm talking about the note of musk and hedion. All right, the note of musk in this Houston fragrances can be traced all the way back to, uh, let's just say, a long time ago, okay? Musk used to be produced by actually extracting it from, like, deer, like deer musk. But now that's, of course, regulations. That's been outlawed. You can't do that anymore. But there are synthetics that are contained in fragrances to produce uh, the note of musk. And they are in fragrances today, and they are still doing its thing. Now, guys, the note of hedion, that particular note is a synthetic compound that was actually put, started being synthesized around 1958, I think it was. I think the scientist's name was Edward uh, de Molay uh, or something like that. Uh, Jasmine, uh, which can be very, very strong in fragrances, he found a way to kind of come up with a synthetic uh, version of Jasmine. Uh, and of course he called it Hedion. Now after it was found, it started to be utilized in fragrances to kind of as a synthetic version of jasmine i think the actual name is called um methyl dehydrojasminate is the actual scientific term uh for hedion and again it was used to replace jasmine and scientists found that it has an effect on the humans akin to that of a pheromone <laughs> so results of the scientific research done on the note of Hedion found that the putative human pheromone receptor VN1R1 is involved in extra olfactory neuronal activations induced by the odorous substance of Hedion. The activation of VN1R1 might play a role in gender specific modulation of hormonal secretions in humans. <laughs> 
So this is just not lip service. I'm telling you right now, I'm backing this up by science. So that's what we're going to be getting into today, guys. 10 fragrances, and I have one bonus, that focus or centered around the note of hedion and or musk. These are fragrances that get the ladies going. So we want to see what's on the list today of fragrances that 99% of women are aroused by. Then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. And if you're lame, <laughs> you can go ahead and skip past this because this, this ain't for you. Let's get it. Fragrance guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list of fragrances. And the first one up is a fragrance that was released, I think, around 2020. And this one came from the House of Initial Parfums, and this is called Musk Therapy. Musk Therapy. Listen, they didn't try to make it a secret on this one, guys. This has a double dose of musk. It has musk white musk and it also contains the note of hedion and as i explained in the opening guys the note of hedion really really gives this uh the vibe of jasmine it's kind of a gives that jasmine floral vibe to fragrances and you definitely pick up a heavy dose of hedion in this fragrance obviously as the name indicates there is a bunch of musk in this fragrance but i love the way that it's kind of softened and rounded out you have a very juicy, succulent mandarin orange note when this fragrance opens up. I love the use of the mandarin orange in this fragrance. It gives, again, that nice fruity opening to the scent combined with the musk, the hedion, and then this very creamy sandalwood base. This thing is hella sexy, and it definitely deserves a spot on a list like this because it contains both hedion and a double dose of musk so get this one in your life guys it works i warn it it does what it is intended to do when initio released this fragrance so get this one in your life if you don't have it this is from the house of initial parfums and this is called musk therapy all right guys this next fragrance up on the list man this is a house that a lot of folks don't really talk about but more people need to talk about this this fragrance house more people need to get their nose on the fragrances in this particular house it is from the house of the harmonist and they make some absolutely fantastic fragrances and this one that i'm going to talk about is definitely no different this one is called yin transformation yin transformation and guys to say that this fragrance is good would be doing it a tremendous disservice because I need to think of another word that's just better than that to do this fragrance some justice because this one has both musk and hedion in it as well. So the Harmonist collection of fragrances was trying to make no secret as well about this one as it pertains to its intent. And that is to be seductive. Mission accomplished because this thing, again, features a very prominent note of white musk. It has the floral vibe uh, that comes from the hedion combined with yangalang, which is another note that has been said to have a similar effect. Yangalang, as well as a sensual rose note in the heart. Now, it opens up with this kind of aquatic, kind of almost aquatic vibe. It has some mandarin. It has some bergamot uh, in this one as well when it opens up but it's just blended to perfection and this thing is hella sexy as well so get this one in your life guys again a lot of folks don't talk about this house more people need to because they have some amazing fragrances so check this one out from the house of the harmonist this was called yin transformation now this next fragrance up on this list today is no secret to a list like this when you talk about the note of musk you have to mention this fragrance from the house of frederick mall this one is called musk ravageur Musk Ravageur. Now, I've done fragrance lists before where I've talked about sexy fragrances and I often talk about 
this particular scent, Musk Rapper Joe. And the reason is, again, Musk is just a very sexy, sexy note. Musk, vanilla, as in this as well. And you have that, that very nice spice of cinnamon to really just complement the musk in this fragrance in the vanilla. And this thing is just sexy, fellas. It's just sexy. It is what it is. When the weather gets cold outside, you want to wear something that's sexy, that's women, going to attract women. This is one I highly suggest that musk is very masculine in this, and it smells phenomenal. So check it out from the house of Frederick Mall. This one is called Musk Ravageau. All right, guys, so the next fragrance up on the list, this fragrance actually made me kind of go and study the note of Hedion when it was released in the year of 2018. And this one comes from the House of Parfums of Marley, and this one is called Percival. This one is called Percival. Now, Percival also features both a prominent note of musk as well as Hedion, and I'll also say lavender. It's kind of this kind of fresh uh, note of lavender to kind of freshen this fragrance up. And this one, like I said, is the fragrance that when I saw the note of Hedion, it made me go and do some research. And that's when I really started to really understand what Hedion was and its purpose and intent when used in fragrances. And man, I can just tell you right now, of course, this one resembles uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Uh, but when I wore this fragrance, one of the first times I wore it, I was getting a lot of compliments from both male and females. And I was like, man, what is it in this fragrance? And like I said, I started to go and kind of research the notes. And that's when I really found out about Hedion. So guys, if you want some compliments, you want a fragrance that is very, very seductive. This is one you might need to get your nose on. I've said it before when I talked about my most complimented fragrances from certain houses. This is my most complimented fragrance from the House of Parfums and Marley. And that's really saying something because they have a lot of great fragrances that kind of fall in that highly complimented fragrance category. So check this one out, guys. Again, it's from the House of Parfums and Marley, and this one is called Percival. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on this list, I've already talked about one fragrance from, the, from this particular house, but this particular house made no secret that they were trying to make very kind of sexy and suggestive kind of fragrances, and this one falls right into that category as well from the house, again, of Initial Parfums. This one is called High Frequency. Now, this particular scent, again, is one from the house that a lot of folks don't talk about. But what this fragrance kind of puts me in the mindset of is Pegasus from Parfums and Marley. It has that same kind of powdery vanilla thing that you get from, uh, from Parfums and Marley Pegasus. It's kind of in here because that really comes from the use of the florals and the almond. But this also has a very prominent note of, of Hedion gives a very vanillic undertone to this fragrance that really just works great with the almond to give a very sexy appealing vibe and that's what you get in this guy so check this one out as well another one from the house of initial parfums that gets the job done when you talk about sexy fragrances take a look at this one this one is called high frequency all right now this next fragrance comes with a little bit of controversy to some extent is from the house of bond number nine and i'm talking about this one is called off broadway off-Broadway, and the reason I say that is because if you look at the note breakdown of Off-Broadway, it is almost the identical note breakdown to another Bond Number no. 9 fragrance that was released uh, several years ago that has been seemingly discontinued called Bond Number no. 9 New York Musk. Basically the same note breakdown. Now this one does come off a little bit more fruity, a little bit more juicy uh, than the New York Musk, but man, as I said, this is centered around the note of musk. Now it took me a little minute. I wasn't as impressed by this one initially when I sprayed, but once I started to wear it, I got some very positive responses. And again, it's centered around the note of musk, man. You get the musk in this, you get some black currant. Again, you get a little bit of a juicy, fruity opening to this as well. It really just kind of rounds everything out and pulls it together. And this thing is an attention getter so guys don't sleep on this one there hasn't been a lot of talk about it but again if you're looking for one that really attracts gets attention i highly recommend this one from the house of bond number nine again this is called off broadway guys this next fragrance was actually released in the year of 2007 and the perfumer behind this one was none other than mason francis kirkjohn and this fragrance was from the narciso rodriguez house and it's simply called for him 
Now, Ciso Rodriguez for him. And this thing is super seductive, man. It's masculine. It has this very uh, green undertone to it, primarily uh, coming from the use of violet leaf in this fragrance. But the star player, yep, you guessed it, musk. This thing is musk heavy, and it is really 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 sexy when i first smelled it it took me a while to get my nose on it because so many people were saying that this smelled like wet cement wasn't the most appealing description for me personally but when i finally got my nose on it i said oh my goodness where have you been all my life because this thing is absolutely fantastic and amazing masculine sexy musk laden fragrance that is going to get the job done so check this one out guys if you were like me and you were kind of turned off by the whole wet cement comparison fear no more get your nose on this this stuff is super sexy from the house of Narciso Rodriguez this is called simply for him but it'll be for her you know what I'm saying all right guys now this next fragrance up on the list today comes from the house of Atelier Cologne and this is called Musk a musk imperial man this stuff is fantastic uh it gained some popularity when it came out because people compared it to the king of fragrances and that's primarily because of two notes that is the black current in the opening and the very heavy musky dry down there's a lot of musk on this uh fragrance when it dries down uh, in combination, I would say primarily two other notes that I get is the creaminess from Fig and that kind of clean lavender uh, in this one as well. But again, this list is about the note of musk and this thing, when it starts to dry down, the musk really starts to shine through on this scent. And again, it's one that's really, really sexy. It kind of has a somewhat of a reminiscent uh, vibe to Creed Aventus, but it's not that close. But it's good enough on its own uh, to do what it needs to do and I absolutely adore this fragrance now this one if you start looking for uh, a lot of fragrances from this house because they've kind of moved out of the US this is probably one of the more expensive ones compared to some of the others because it's really good so trust me on this one guys check this one out from the house of Vitile Cologne if you can get your hands on it this one is definitely worth it this is called Musk or Musk Imperial all right, guys, I need a drum roll. I, you know, I, I just need some support. I, I need support. All right, I, I can't keep doing this, man, because some of these things are so good. <laughs> and this next one, man, is a designer scent from the house of Cartier. And I just don't understand why more people don't talk about this fragrance. And this one is called La Involve from the house of Cartier. This stuff is amazing, man. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. I'm not going to bore you guys with talking about all the notes and stuff like that, but just know there's a very prominent note of musk in here, and it brings so much sex appeal to this fragrance. It already has uh, iris in here, so of course it's slightly powdery. You get some uh, honey in this as well, and you guys know what honey does in fragrances. And then again, some musk. Musk, violet leaves. This thing is super sexy. It's so sexy, guys, and you can probably get this one probably one of the more cost-effective fragrances on this list outside of Narciso Rodriguez for him. So I could ramble on and on about this one, but trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me on this. Guys, get your nose on this if you have not from the House of Cartier. This is La Involve by the House of Cartier, and this is the Eau de Parfum Concentration. All right, this next fragrance is a very, very popular scent, so I won't spend a lot of time on this, but one of the things that really differentiates this one from Creed Aventus, besides the creaminess of the sandalwood and the leather, is the amount of musk that is used on the dry down in combination with the oak moss. And this fragrance is one from the House of Mancera, and it's this, Cedrat Boise. Cedrat Boise. And I just gave you guys the notes in this. But that's the thing, man, that's always kind of really, you know, made this fragrance and uh, differentiated it from... Uh, Creed event is to me the creaminess of the sandalwood, the leather, and that musk oak moss dry down on this scent. You know, this one has been out for a while, a while, guys. So just get your nose on it. The new intense is out. I'm going to be talking to you guys about that one really soon. But man, just check it out from the house of Mancera. This is called Cedrat de Boise. All right, guys, I got one bonus for you, man. And this one, again, I had to mention this 
because it just needs to be on this list. Another, a few other like notes that were mentioned that were kind of used in the same way, really seductive kind of uh, fragrance notes. They talked about rose, jasmine, and of course the note of vanilla. And the vanilla in this fragrance Guys, go get this. Go get it. Go get it. It's from the Harmonious Collection as well. This is called Hypnotizing Fire. If the name doesn't say it all, do I need to say anything else? This to me... Guys, this smells like an even better of By the Fireplace from the house of Mason Margiela. It's even better. It's even better. Listen, man, my boy Kevin Samuels, man, rest in peace, said in a video when he talked about this scent is that this one should come with birth control. <laughs> Need I say more? Get it in your life, man. From the house of the harmonist. That one is called Hypnotizing Fire. All right, guys, that is it, man. That's my time today. I hope you enjoyed this list today. Uh, I gave you 10, well, 11 fragrances that 99% of women are aroused by. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and you know. I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell phenomenal. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.